Today's story is called Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Jack. Jack lived with his mother. They were very poor. They didn't have any money at all. All they had was a cow which would produce milk every day. But one day, the cow's udders ran dry and there was no more milk. Oh dear, said Jack's mother, I don't know what we're going to do. We have no money and nothing to eat. Take our cow to the market, said the cow, and sell it so that we can buy some food. Jack takes the cow to market. On the way he met a man, an old man, who said to Jack, Where are you going, Jack? And Jack said, I'm taking the cow to the market to sell her, to get money, so we can buy food. Oh, said the man, no need for you to go to the market. I'll buy the cow from you. Really, said Jack, how much money will you give me? Well, said the man, I'll give you something better than money. I'll give you these five magic beans. So Jack thinks that's a good idea. And he buys, sells the cow for five magic beans in a bag and runs home to his mother. But when Jack's mum sees the beans, she's very cross. Because it's not money. She did give Jack very clear instructions to sell the cow for as much money as he could get. And he's gone and sold it for beans, which no, which are no use at all, she thinks. Silly boy, says Jack's mum. Now we have no cow, no money and nothing to eat. So she throws the beans out of the window and sends Jack to bed without any supper. Jack goes off to bed. He's sad about the beans. The next morning, Jack looks out of his window. There's a giant beanstalk in the garden. Jack is very hungry. He decides to climb up the beanstalk, hoping to pick some beans to eat. But he goes higher and higher and higher, not seeing any beans. He climbs up and up into the clouds. Jack climbs all the way to the top. At the top of the beanstalk, Jack finds a giant castle. He's hungry. So he knocks at the castle door. The door opens. It's the giant's wife. Please, can I have something to eat? Says Jack. The wife warns him, you must be careful. My husband eats little boys. If you hear him coming, you must quickly hide in the oven. Then they hear a thumping of feet coming after Jack has eaten some breakfast. Boom, 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 it's the giant coming. And the giant comes into the kitchen and roars, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I can smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have him for my breakfast in bed. No, dear, says the wife to the greedy giant. Don't be silly, she said. It's the sausages I've cooked you for breakfast that you can smell. The giant sits down at the table and eats his sausages. Then when he's finished the sausages, he calls out to his wife. Bring me my gold. 
The wife brings his gold in bags and the greedy giant starts to count it. Soon the giant falls asleep. Jack pops out of his hiding place and grabs one bag of gold. He takes the bag and runs home to his mother. Jack's mother buys some food. But as soon as all the gold is gone and they are hungry again, Jack climbs up the beanstalk. He hides in the castle. But here comes the greedy giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman, shouts the giant, sniffing the air, looking for Jack. Don't be silly, says the giant's wife. You can smell your meat, for I cooked you for lunch. Bring me my hen, the hen which lays the golden eggs, roars the giant to his wife. The wife brings the giant the hen which lays golden eggs. The giant says to the hen, lay, and the hen lays a fat golden egg. Then the giant says, lay again. And the hen lays another golden egg. Soon the giant falls asleep. Jack creeps out of his hiding place and steals the chicken. He runs home with the fat red hen. His mother's very happy he's brought a a, chick, uh, a hen which can lay some golden eggs because they won't ever need to worry again. She told Jack not to go up the beanstalk ever again because she was worried about Jack getting eaten by the giant. But Jack was a curious boy and sometimes he was a little bit disobedient. That means he didn't do what he was told, he'd do the opposite. So on another occasion he decided to do the opposite of what his mother who said she had said, do not climb up the beanstalk again. But Jack decided to climb it. Up, up, up he went. Then he knocks on the door. The giant's wife opens the door. Please, ma'am, can I, how, can I have some food? I'm hungry, says Jack. The giant's wife looks at him carefully and says, aren't you the little boy who stole my husband's gold and who stole the, the hen. Oh no, said Jack, that must be another little boy. It wasn't me. Very well, she said, you can come in, but beware of my giant. If he sees you, he'll eat you for breakfast. So he goes in and buys... No, he doesn't go in. He, he, Jack goes in and eats some breakfast. Uh. I'm starting to fall asleep now. Then... While he's eating the breakfast, along comes the sound of very heavy footsteps. Boom, 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 very frightening footsteps. Then Jack rushes to hide, but he doesn't hide in the oven this time. He hides in a basket. The door opens and in comes the giant shouting, Fee, no. fi, fo, fum. The giant says, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have him for my breakfast in bed. And the giant's wife said to the giant, If you're looking for the little boy who stole your money and your chicken, he'll be hiding in the oven.
the giant looks in the oven, but he can't see the boy. The, the lady looks in the oven, but she can't see to find the boy. In fact, nobody seems to be able to find the boy. Terrible to be split up like that. Because Jack is... Where's Jack hiding, do you think? If you're something in your mouth... <coughs> don't, don't put things in your mouth which are not food, my love. Give it to me. You get back in bed now. <coughs> now, the Jack asked for his heart to be brought. Not Jack. The giant asked for his heart to be brought. And the heart plays such beautiful music, the giant soon falls asleep. Jack creeps out of his hiding place in the pot and goes to grab the harp. But the, he didn't know, but the harp can speak, and it shouts out, Master, Master, somebody's stealing me. The giant wakes up. Jack grabs the harp and runs as fast as he can towards the beanstalk, and down, down he goes. Jack climbs down the beanstalk as fast as he can, and the giant comes running down the road towards the beanstalk to climb down to. Jack goes down further and further, and the giant has almost reached the beanstalk. Jack climbs down the beanstalk even further, getting near the bottom. And the giant gets to the top of the beanstalk and climbs on it. Jack shouts to his mother, 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 bring an axe. And he climbs down nearly to the bottom. And as soon as he gets to the bottom, Jack starts to cut the beanstalk. But the giant is climbing down very fast. But long before he gets below the clouds, the beanstalk is cut down. And it tumbles to the earth. It crashes to the earth like a giant oak, which has been chopped down. And with it comes the giant from falling from very high up near the clouds. And that, I'm afraid for the giant, is that. The giant falls to the ground and that is the end of the giant. The end. Daddy, look at that. And now that's the end.